Hi, first graders. Get let's get ready for foundations. The materials you will need at home are cardboard, something bumpy, a red crayon, your notebook, paper, and a pencil. In school, you'll need foundations paper, your plastic grid, a red crayon, your dry erase board, and a tile board. Today's objective is I can read words with R controlled sounds and blends. So let's get ready to practice our trick words. And we're going to practice writing and spelling them. So make sure you get that paper ready with your something bumpy to practice writing and tracing the word wood. So please write the word wood on your paper. Now we are going to trace and spell and say the word. Ready? Trace over W, O, U, L, D, wood. Again, W, O, U, L, D, wood. W, O, U, L, D, wood. Good job. Now we are going to try could. So please write could on your paper. Now let's trace it with our fingers. Trace, spell, and say the word. C O U L D could. C O U L D could. C O U L -D D could. Now we are going to practice should. So please write should on your paper. Now let's practice tracing, spelling, and saying the word. S H O U L D should. S H O U L D should. S H O U L D should. Good job. Now let's get ready to echo. Remember, when you see echo the apple, you repeat after me. A apple app. B bat b. C cat. D dog d. E ed e. F fun f. G game g. H hat. I itch e. J jug j K kike L lamp u M man m mm. N nut m mm. O octopus ah P Pam P Q U Queen Qu R Rat Er S Snake T Top T U Up A V van v. W wind w. X fox x. Y yellow y. Z zebra z. W H whistle w. C H chin ch. 
S H ship sh T H thumb C K sock A L L ball all A M ham am A N fan an S bugs z A N G fang ang I N G ring ing O N G song ong U N G lung ong A N K bank Ank. I N K pink ink. O N K honk onk. U N K junk onk. Okay, now pause the video and stretch all your vowel sounds out. So these are our controlled sounds. This year we're going to do uh, learn about the sounds of many new vowel combinations, such as A, R, and O, R. We will learn keywords to help us remember these sounds. You won't need to use these vowels for our foundation spelling work yet, but you will see them in books and stories, so it'll be helpful to learn the sounds. So you're going to echo after me. A, R, car, R. O, R, horn, or. Now these are R controlled because you really hear the R sound. You hear it more than you hear the vowel sound. Okay, so today's word of the day is task. How do you tap out the word task? T -a -s -k, task. Good. You can tap out each sound, but how many letters do you see in the word task? Good. There are four letters. How many sounds? Four sounds. Good. And how can we write it on the writing grid? This is what it would look like if we wrote the word task. Now, how do we mark the word task? Remember yesterday, we mark blends with two underlines. We underline the blend, not together. Each sound gets its own underline. So it's a little different than digraphs. Each sound gets its own line. What is the vowel sound in the word task? Good, ah. And what does the word task mean? The word task means a special job or chore or even work that you do in schools. That's a task. So here we have some scrambled up sentences and I need your help to put them in the correct order. So at this time you should have a pencil and a notebook. Now what do we know about sentences? to help us put these in order. We know that sentences always start with a capital letter, so we might want to try and find the words with capital letters to be our first word. And then we know that sentences always end with a period. So if you see a word with a punctuation mark at the end, then that should be the end of our sentence. So let's look at the first one. We have trash must stand the dump. Hmm, that really doesn't make sense. But my knowledge of sentences, I know that the capital letter goes first. So this word stand should be first. Now, what do you would think would come next? Stand trash. Well, that trash actually has a punctuation mark at the end, so maybe I should save that word for the end. So let's see what makes sense. Stand must, stand the, or stand 
dump. Hmm. I think what makes the most sense is Stan must. Okay. That tells me that I need to add some other stuff after, and this is telling me what he must do. Stan must the. Stan must dump. Hmm. The one that makes the most sense is Stan must dump. Stan must dump trash the or the trash. Good. The trash. Now you are going to figure out how you should write this sentence. So you're going to use your notebook and a pencil to write this sentence in the correct order. Now I will show you what it looks like after, or you're gonna pause the video and you're gonna to look to see how it goes after, but you are going to take a picture of your sentences and you're gonna attach it to your assignment. So go ahead, try and figure out what order this sentence should go in. Remember, the beginnings of sentences should have capital letters and the ends of sentences have a punctuation mark like a period, a question mark, or an exclamation point. Good. That is what the sentence should look like. Bill fell in some sand. And now let's do the last one. You're going to write it in your notebook. Try and figure out where all these words belong. Come to the pond and swim. That was a longer sentence. Good job. Remember to take a picture and attach it to your assignment, and maybe you'll get some extra credit if you mark up the sentences. Now you're going to try all these kinds of words all on your own. Have a great day.